what um what's the best piece of financial investment advice you've ever received right in terms of from another investor what's the best piece of advice they ever gave you hmm. um well, I have a friend named Brent Bishore, and this is going to be ah. advice uh, through Brent because it didn't come directly from Brent. It Brent came, is fantastic. It, it, it came from uh, Warren Buffett. Mm -hmm. And Brent went to a dinner with him. And by the way, full disclosure, our family is involved mm -hmm. with uh, an investment in Brent. Um, anyway, uh, Brent is a very detail-oriented guy and a really super nice guy. Mm -hmm. um, and you know he wanted to hear all about Buffett's diligence, and you know he had his paper ready to take his notes, and Buffett looked at him and he goes, "Price is my only diligence." And as I kind of thought about that, I thought, "Wow, that is like really brilliant, right?" Because at some point, everything gets worth buying for the <laughs> most part if it's functioning, and you know. It's not illegal, right? Yeah, there's not you, there's not some quagmire that you're stepping into. Yep. And and it's kind of like, yeah. I mean, ultimately, uh, Jamie Dian, Diamond once said, "Give me a uh, C rank plan with A rank players, and I'll take that all day long over an A rank plan with C rate players." Mm -hmm. um, so I think you know m most investment advice is really elemental. Mm -hmm. And and it speaks to uh, what I call the well, well duh, mm -hmm. right? You know, so you hear Buffett say, "Price is my only diligence," and you think, "Well, if it wasn't Warren Buffett, no one would pay any attention to him." But they would, they would, because it, when you think about it, and you wrap that around your head, and and I looked at Br or uh, Brent and went, "Wow, that's that's really profound." Mm -hmm. um, so I think one, one of the things that I've been on uh, recently is, look, I believe that people, if they want to be great investors, they have to create their investment scheme that's right for them. Mm -hmm. What is right for me might not be right for you. Read as much as you can and read mm -hmm. outside the field mm -hmm. of finance, definitely. But as you do that, take notes. See what resonates with you. See what doesn't. Ask yourself, would I really be able to uh, withstand that kind of downturn? And mm -hmm. then ask yourself an, uh, an even ob more obvious question. Okay, how did I uh, perform during the financial crisis? Mm -hmm. If I sold all my stocks in uh, January or February, I know I got a problem. <laughs> and then I got to try to build an investment strategy that will work for me. Listen, good investing is simple. It's just not easy. Mm -hmm. And and that is, you know, something that a lot of people, you know, go back to basic principles and, you know, get somebody to be a wingman for you because for the most part, you'll panic. I used to say to people, you know, do a letter from your advisor that's from you that says, uh, dear Mr. Advisor, Mrs. Advisor. I know that at some point in the future, I will panic about, you know, and then leave a space where you can fill it in. <laughs> and you are going to tell me what a stupid idea that is for me and then show it to me at the time. Um, again, as, as long as human nature remains what it is, I got a day job.